Spreading micromods can be daunting, but with a little practice, anyone can do it. In this video, I'll demonstrate my technique to relax and spread micromods. A few months ago, I caught some mods using a bucket trap and put them in the freezer. I now have time to go through and spread them. The first thing I need to do is relax them. I first wet a small rag and squeeze out as much water as I can and put it in a small container. I like to use the sorting tray that I use for my bucket trap. I then pull out all the mods that I want to spread and put them in the tray as well, taking care to keep them away from the rag. Don't pull out so many mods that you can't spread them all in a day. You only have about a 24 hour window before they get moldy. I carry the data label over with the mods. After putting the tray in a Tupperware container and tightly closing the lid, the moths should be relaxed and ready to spread in 12 to 24 hours. The moths are now ready to spread. Using my fine forceps, I select a moth to spread and carefully take it out remembering to close the lid when I'm done. I spread micromoths in a piece of dense foam with thin grooves cut into it. I'll carefully drive a minutin through the center of the thorax. If the moth is relaxed enough, a gentle puff of air should be enough to pop the wings out. That's a sure sign that the moth is ready to spread. Trying to spread unrelaxed micromoths will only result in torn wings and frustration. I put the moth in one of the pre-cut grooves and give another puff of air to get the wings spread out even more. If I'm lucky, they'll land perfectly. If not, I use a few more minutins to position the wings to where I want them. Very carefully, I'll drag one of the four wings to where I want it and gently set it in place. I'll do the same with the hind wing. To move and set the wings, it's best to place the minutin just behind a major vein along the leading edge of the wing. This is where the wing is strongest and least likely to tear. Next, I use a small square of pre-cut tracing paper or a piece of glassing envelope to hold the wings flat and use more minutins to hold it down. I then remove the two original minutins that I used to position the wings. If I want, I can use an additional minutin to position the antennae. I then do the same with the other wings. Once I'm done, I'll make sure to label all the moths so I know when and where they were collected. Depending on temperature, humidity, and size of the moths, it can take a few weeks for them to dry. I like to leave them on the foam for at least two weeks. Store them in a dry, airtight environment to prevent pests from destroying them. After two weeks, I'll use fine forceps to remove the squares and any minutins I use to hold the antennae in place. Move the moths to a short strip of foam I've pre-cut. I then drive a larger pin through the other end of the strip. This is called double mounting.
I'll give the moth one more temporary data label before I make a permanent one.